Good news, everyone. So I got my um, Dell laptop back from Dell. Uh, it, the logic board had fried, uh, so they replaced it. Then they said that they had to reinstall the operating system. So the couple months, at least, that I spent on building my Minecraft world and that server, I had assumed that there was gone. Um, that's why I started that new world before I got the laptop back. Guess what? My files were all still there, including my Minecraft world. So I uploaded my Minecraft world to a realm. So that is safe. I'm going to show you guys that in this video. But first, if you want to be part of my realms plus uh, little fun adventures that we're going to do uh, two ways to do it. Either email me John at at gmail.com. Uh, send me your uh, your Xbox battle gamer tag as they call it the uh, the gamer tag associated with your Minecraft account and I'll add you to my friends list or you can add me as a friend yourself uh, that is John Maciel 86 and hopefully we get enough people to uh, to have a little fun in Minecraft a Minecraft realm plus can only hold 10 people at a time but you can have as many people invited to your realm plus as you want uh, if the if the channel gets really big and we get a a lot of Minecraft popularity, then I will at some point get my own Minecraft server. That's gonna be a bit more than Minecraft Realms Plus. So I think Realms Plus right now is gonna be enough fun for us to have. We can look at having our own server in the future. So now let's go and check out my world. All right, so logging in here again, you can see my uh, my gamer tag here, John Maciel eighty six. Uh, now, when I click play, so typically your worlds show up here. This world uh, is actually not on here. You can actually download a copy of your realm uh, to save on here. A regular realm can have up to two people at a time, so it's like you and a friend. Or if you have Minecraft on PC and you have Minecraft on Android, which is seven bucks, you create a new account on there, add that account on there, and that's how you do time lapses if you're on Bedrock. So you just stand up that other account of yours into an area that can kind of see everything that you're building. Um, and then you can set your game to record from that account's perspective while you run around doing the building all over the place and you can time lapse it to have a nice time lapse build. So that's how you would do it for your recording. You may do some time lapse builds in the future. We'll see how it goes. So let's hop into my realm here. Let's check out this world that I had started building before. We should start off right and or I can be disconnected. <laughs> let's try this again. Uh, hop in, come on, don't give me that disconnect. Log me in, please log me in. Come on, Minecraft. Uh, 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 oh, I think we're in. Oh, yes, and it's the middle of the night. Uh, so let's go up here, my bed. Now you guys can see where my bed is. Uh, there's a blacksmith area, very nice, and my chimney. Here's my double bed there, in case I have up to two people in my world, of course. Uh, so I got a little double bed there for some homo sleeping. So up here is where I'm going to keep my pets. I don't have any pets yet in this world. So, but from here, I can give you a little bird's eye view of the area. So let's, let's hop up here on this log here. So that is a little birch tree farm. Uh, you've got a little fish pond there with a little waterfall coming down. I carved all around the, um, the area there. So it looks like a little moats and you have some bridges walking across. That is a tower with an oak tree farm. I do plan to build that into a bamboo farm, but I haven't gotten to a jungle yet uh, in this uh, in this world. When I do get a jungle, I will put my bamboo in there and I'll build another section like this because I like how that came out into an oak tree section. Uh, maybe either next to it or behind it. Um, but here is going to be a creep spawner inside of a big lighthouse. So that's going to be my lighthouse there. So that's going to be a cool little section on that side. There's my little dock and a boat. Up up in that direction somewhere, there's another village I don't generally trade with. I'm going to steal their villagers or uh, invite those villagers back to a handy little hotel I built for them uh, in here. Nice little sections so that I can keep them. And that does have an attic area. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with that attic area yet. Maybe a little breed station and um, a lava station. I have no idea. So there's some automatic farms down there. Um, there's my cows. Inside there are chickens. The chickens are standing on top of hoppers. So all their eggs go into the chest. Very, very nice. There's some sheep. There's a rabbit hutch. I do plan to build that into a barn. 
um, except the rabbit hutch will probably still be outside of the barn in the back. Uh, inside that lighthouse is a cactus farm and the cactus go out into a chest that are right there. So when I build a bamboo farm, I can gather the cactus, gather the bamboo and just stick them into a furnace. I don't think I, I like building multiple structures, but I like them to have purpose. So I don't mind separating them. And you can see how I did the lighting in this area too. Oh, I, I still need to. All right. I got some, uh, I need to fix that. I just noticed that now guys, I'm sorry. Uh, here we go. Uh, some leaves. That's how I'm doing the, uh, Here's the inside enchanting table, some some indoor storage here. You know, there's our campfire fireplace, some paintings. It's very cozy, very nice enchanting area, brewing area. It's very, very nice in here. All right, so let's go out here. We're walking down. We're going to fix this thing here. I don't know how we missed this. See this here? I forgot to put some extra. Yes, there. Is that better? Uh, maybe a little uneven. Put some here. See, this is what you do in Minecraft. Uh, yes. You just become antsy about how your stuff looks. Yeah, so this is the uh, lanterns here. There's the hotel in here. Uh, it's a very, very fancy hotel. It's going to have iron doors, don't worry. So there's their bed. So they're going to have a, they have a window. They're going to have a bed. They're going to stand here. They're going to have their workstation here. It's all going to be very, very nice. And the attic is through a ladder in the back. So that's all good. There's a button for one farm. This is where I make my bone meal. Uh, so I do have a lime dye trader. So I can take the cactus, uh, make green dye, uh, take bone meal, and you get uh, to make white dye. And then you get um, your lime dye. So down here is my big storage area. Uh, you can see that I still have a ton of open space down here. So that's my big storage area. You know, lots of fancy lights. Here's the lighthouse. I love how the lighthouse came out too. Yes, hello, little friend. I was planning on probably around here, um, maybe around the back over here, because I want to cut another section, uh, maybe like in this general area to separate um, where the windmill is from the rest of the area and build a little bridge over there too to uh, kind of separate the area a bit, a little more security. Um, oh yeah, the mine is down there. Uh, so down there too, I have a little lava station. I can dump stuff off because you don't want to put lava near wooden structures. Large mine, carts. Yes, you get the idea. Uh, and go away. Uh, continuing on. So yeah, the, the cactuses are in here. See? Very cool, right? Alpha oh, crying loud. See, that, this happens sometimes when you have cactus farms. Boom. They all go down there. A little waterway down there. And it goes into a chest. Very nice. Simple. I like simple. All right, continuing. Oh, we go again. Uh, I need food. Thank you. I'll show you guys my village. I have still have work I want to do on the village. Let's go through another portal. I like the little spot for my nether portal too. Kind of segregated out of the way inside a little cave. You know, I don't know if I want to do something different with it or not. I haven't decided. Uh, all right, so this is the rail here from my portal. There, right, yes, right in front of where I live is a nether fortress. So if I want to do some nether fortress farming, I can go right in there. That's why I have it stop here in case I decide to go to the nether fortress and then continue on. We go to our village. Um, so the when I find a water temple and like a woodland mansion in this world, I am going to build like railways to them too through the nether. A little faster, um, a little faster action going there. I'm, I don't think I want to go to a woodland mansion though until I have like an elytra later. Uh, cause I've gotten severely lost before, uh, trying to find it. Uh, now we go to our village. Now this village is actually too big. I noticed during the last raid. I oh, know. Oh yeah. Uh, this is what I do with all the, uh, pillage banners. Isn't that nice? Uh, so let's go in here. Now the problem is that it's so big that during a raid, because the bell is like, uh, where's the bell? It's like over there somewhere. It's so big that the raiders actually spawn inside the walls. Like they spawned like over there. And that was annoying uh, for one of the waves. So I'm going to compact this village down. And I do have a layout planned for it already. So I will get this village fixed up. So I'll have this village here for one set of trading. And I'll have my hotel in my... Uh, in my city area for another set of trading. These guys are also right off the coast, I think, too. I don't remember. This might be a little desert area. Uh, let's go walk around the other side of the wall. I know this makes the raids so easy, too, just having a wall like this around it. Um, 
Yeah, so this wall took a long time to build too. Yeah, so I think this is a... Uh, yeah, so that's an ocean area too. So it's right off the coast too. I love coastal cities. Uh, but we'll see. I might have to. I might cut them off once I build them up there. Actually, or I may build. I may cut them off on the other off opposite side because I don't want to level this off. So that might be easier if I started on that right hand corner and then just tear this down. So I think that's what I'll end up doing. It might be a little safer if I do it that way. So yeah, that's my village. Uh, you guys saw generally my my uh, home, my base layout. Um, and what I'm planning to do with it. There's always a little, there's always so much that I want to do in Minecraft. Um, yeah, I've done a raid and like that's all I've done. I think I have the skulls to do the, to kill the, uh, the wither. So I may do that soon too. Um, if I deem it worth it. Like I wanted the totems of undying. That's why I did the raid. In the past before raids, you can only get the totems in, uh, the woodland mansion. So I kind of took away value from finding mansions. Um, but anyway, that's it. Uh, so again, sign up for Realms Plus. We'll play games on there. We'll play the unique packs that are only available in Realms Plus. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, subscribe to my channel too. Please be subscribed to my channel if you're playing with the group on Realms Plus. I do plan to stream those. I may put stream highlights of our Realm Plus playing onto the uh, YouTube channel, depending on how how fun it is and whatnot, how funny it is, if it's worthy of clips, and I'll do that. I try to get away from doing that because it's just like reusing content. But if it's good content, then I'll do it. Um, I do have an archive page. You can see it on my home channel, channels that I'm subscribed to, Phoenix Frenzy, are where all my past streams go. I think there's 15 of them on there right now. So check that out if you want to see past streams too. I'll catch you guys next time. I should be starting the Minecraft uh, Realms Plus in the next day or two so let's see how many people sign up in the meantime thanks for watching see you guys later